Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you our apartment. This is actually a blast from the past. I feel so cheesy saying that, but it is. It's about a month in the past. And I wanted to show you guys where I've been living just to show you guys what I've done with the place and how we've decorated because it will be getting all torn apart because we have now moved. It's going to be quite a process um, getting everything down and all that stuff. There's not a lot of room to put stuff. So I know our house is going to go crazy. Well, get crazy. So I'm going to show you guys the front door first and then we'll get to the basic living area, which I'm basically standing in. So this is our front door and I've actually just changed things here. So the mirror used to be on the back of that door and the coat rack was over there. This door actually goes to the hot water heater, which we don't need to get to. And we've always had little hooks up there so i put my gloves there it looks so much cleaner than it did before because i realize that when coats are you know in front of you versus on the side you don't see them puffing out so it looks so much nicer and i figured this out a month before we're leaving very strange this rug is from target and i love all the colors it's red blue yellow some green in there so it basically goes with everything and then over here, this is a stool that was um, my mom's like friends and I liked it. It was, it's very old. It's like a vintage piece and it's like coming apart right here, but it's still kind of cute. So this is a little place to put um, your shoes on. And I did move this little tray. This is for the cats. I put Michael's boots there, my boots there. I will be getting a regular boot tray in the future. So that will be happening. And this mirror is from Target. It's from the um, Project 62 line. And we have a wooden sword that Michael got from a Renaissance Fair. So this is the entryway. I keep our brooms out because it's very cute and wizardy. And this actually, to the left of the door, we stood up one of these Ikea calyx drawers and basically Michael has a cubby and I have my things. There's just storage down there and above it we have our plants because this plant is very large. There's like nowhere it can go. This one stem is so long. So we're finally gonna have space for that. And our key holder is from Home Goods. It's a bunch of feathers, super cute. And I have our broom there. There's actually a hook. Um, on this side to hang a bag or whatever. And I just keep these things on because I don't wanna have to waste them. We have some boxes for moving and this rug, I don't know where it's going. So here I am at the door. When you walk in, you basically see the kitchen right away. And the kitchen is very big for this um, apartment, which is nice, pretty standard kitchen. There's stuff in the sink, don't look. Um, plenty of cabinet space. The only thing about this kitchen is that the cabinets are very tall. so all the stuff that's above here we um don't really like go up there and like use i mean it's storage so it works i just have a bunch of funko pops up there because i didn't know where else to put it this light is very harsh not flattering at all for videos and i just have you know basic things that i use out and our pantry is like the annoying part of this kitchen um, because it's all underneath but i did make a solution which i'll show you in a bit the fridge and more things up there got my sorting hat and then over here is the laundry closet so i did get this from target to um hang dry clothes because we had a larger one from ikea it's actually inside of here that thing down there um is a clothes dryer but there's no room this is the pantry that i got from target and um yeah we just got one because we didn't need two and inside here is the laundry and there's lots of things in there christmas tree you know decorations just a bunch of things and i still kept the box for moving i actually still have our old rug tucked away just in case you want to use it for somewhere else and we have this lovely step stool from Target. So from the kitchen, you can see the living room 
and it's like quite nice. And then this is a picture behind that is actually the, the breaker, <laughs> that's what it's called. And above there, I just have some cute little wizard decorations. Now moving into the main living area, this is new. This shoe storage situation used to be over here and the stool used to be over here. So I have the cat's water. I decided to separate the water and the food because they always make a mess. And I have our shoes here, Kiyomi's bowl. In front of this Calyx drawer is an Alex drawer, which um, just has like a bunch of my, my stuff, you know? Lots of storage. And then we have Levi's bowl and some plants. And back here, just some utility storage, not very cute at all. And my dying piece, Lily. This is our dining room that is no longer a dining room. Um, it's full of boxes, obviously, storage. And then you pan over to the living room and there you have it. It's uh, quite small. This chest used to be our first coffee table. I got that for $35 at a thrift store and I love it. It has Christmas decorations inside right now. And then our couch is from Ashley, quite traditional, which will actually go really nicely in our new place. And then under, underneath we have a bunch of things. And our coffee table is from West Elm. We have Levi under there. And then let's see, oh, this thing, this storage ottoman is from Home Goods. And this rug I've already shared with you guys, it's from Ashley and it's a celestial rug. It just has a bunch of colors. I'm not sure how it's gonna look in our new place. Hopefully everything looks fine. Our TV stand is from Wayfair and we have a 65 inch TV on there and we have a chair because, you know, everything is displaced. And to the right of the TV, we have Michael's nightstand, which is like a thing because his PS5 needed a home. So this is the only thing we have. We decided not to buy something yet and it works. The PS5 and this big TV will be going in a separate room for him. So that'll be nice. And above the TV, we don't really have much art, just a clock and a Harry Potter thing I got from Home Goods. Got very lucky with that. We have a pull-up bar that no one really uses. It's just there for looks, you know. And over here we have the cat tree, which is Levi's tree. This is Michael's gaming chair. It's mainly here, but when he's not home, I always move it in front of this um, little, well, not little, this chest of drawers. I don't know what to call this. This is all like Michael's vitamins and things, my camera gear, just a bunch of storage. This will be his, he bought that for himself. So that'll go in his little office. And this desk I got from Target. I got it for him, but he actually doesn't like it. So I don't know what I'm doing with it. This is where I edit videos mainly. And there is a chest with Halloween decorations and our printer. This chair I actually just got from Best Buy because I really need a chair. And so this will be my chair for my vanity in my room. And this is the library. Michael's books are all put away basically. And this is actually our dining table that we were using. So small little Ikea table. And we put it on wheels because Michael actually rolls the table out here and he does work there because again, he doesn't like the desk. <laughs> So the living space is very small. Michael and I spend a lot of time together, which I do enjoy. It is going to be very weird, like being in a big house and not being like close to him. And we were joking the other day and saying like, we're gonna need an intercom system because you know, we're gonna be far away at times um, in our own rooms, but it is nice. We're excited to have more space. It's definitely um, not very motivating to have so little space. Like I've been getting into Pilates and yoga and I don't really like to do it when Michael's home because we're just like crammed in one little area. So let's move on to the bathroom, which is very cute. That'll be a really big change because the bathroom style is very different in the new place. Going from the TV, we see the linen closet and the bathroom to the right. And it's a pretty standard bathroom. It's very big, I will say. Plenty of space. This is where the litter box is. It's really the only place the litter box can go. And um, we have our laundry basket just in the middle, you know, just making sure they need to like come out slowly so they don't scatter the litter everywhere. And I went for a more bohemian type of feel. This is like not cute with the litter, but it works. Our little squat 
squatty potty situation over there. I did take down decorations from that and light is good in here. The counter space is pretty decent. And as you can see, we have a hanging back there. Well, behind me, that used to be in our bedroom, but I didn't want that like kind of cool muted undertone in the bedroom. So I moved it into here and it actually goes with our shower curtain, which is from Target. So as you can see, the colors kind of match. I got these two hooks from Target. One for me, one for Michael. Black hardware, more black hardware. I got a fake plant in here because it looks just really nice and fresh. And this is all of my skincare, Michael's skincare. I have a wand for curling my hair. And the storage is pretty good in here. Like this is my drawer and that's Michael's drawer. Under here is pretty much put away. I have my hair dryer up there. Um, that's just some skin stuff. We have our cleaning supplies. And over here is a box that has a bunch of stuff that we don't use that often. And then in this one is just more stuff. I'm not sure where this pink rug is going to go because I don't know if it's gonna go in a new place. I don't know if I'm going to use it, we'll see. So that's the bathroom. I am so excited to have my own bathroom and like just have all my stuff there and not have to like worry about having things out or you know I'm still gonna clean but it is gonna be very different I'm very excited so moving on to the bedroom so you walk in and we have bed TV vanity all that good stuff we have a mirror which is from home goods our little clock up there and these actually came from Michael's parents house so this is my dresser and this is Michael's dresser and above this I have my jewelry, some decorations. This is the closet. We had four hats hanging, but they're with the little tiny command hooks and they started falling, so I didn't bother putting them back up. And over here we have the guitar, Michael's nightstand. That isn't really a nightstand. We just decided to move it in here because it works. I forget where it was. Oh, it was pushed over, but now it's there. And the bed has many pillows. <laughs> We have the shelf from Ikea and the painting I just made. And this is my nightstand. And over there was my Harry Potter stuff, but I just put it away because I'm not using it. Above that is my Harry Potter pin board. And along this wall is my vanity section of the room. This is where I film my videos and I have the bed in the background. It looks really warm, so I like that, that's gonna change because I won't be filming in my bedroom. So my vanity is from Target and it's from the Opal House collection. And I just have some makeup, my ring light. Not very cute, but it works. This is a tall mirror that goes all the way down to the floor. <laughs> I just don't have a mirror to put on the wall. Well, I do, just not in here. I have my Alex drawer with all of my storage and stuff. And we have an electric fan because I always need an electric fan to sleep. That's just me. And then we have a TV. I don't know what size this is. This TV will be going in our living room, I'm pretty sure. Inside of the closet is pretty like the same. We have our robes, um, my side, Michael's side. I put a lot of my clothes away because I'm not going anywhere. We have storage up there, a bunch of storage. Oh my God our disc golf bag and these are all michael's clothes and that's a massage bed that's like you can be used for facials or massage or waxing whatever behind the curtain in the living room is actually a little balcony that's our patio furniture it's very small and it was nice but i'm very excited to have a yard so that's it for my apartment tour i am really excited to move i'm still in that phase of like hoping nothing bad happens because we haven't signed the lease yet but we've given our deposit I'm really excited to see what we do with the new place. I am just like excited for projects and being able to get furniture, maybe upcycle some stuff and just do more with it because it is an older space. We plan on painting. I've always wanted to do DIY content, but um, I've never really had the means or like the space to do it. This house we're moving into gives me very old, like rustic vibes, but I'm trying to tie in our modern style and make it something unique 
and make it old and new it'll be very interesting so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and if you're not subscribed to my vlog channel um, please go subscribe that is where i will be doing most of the house stuff so this channel can stay more beauty focused and yeah i'll see you guys over there